Hello everyone, it's Ranina here and welcome back to my time at Porcha. Hopefully we can finish off uh, the hot air balloons today. I didn't Good want to- Good morning, me oh. again. I have been meaning to talk to you. I promise that there will be no misadventures this time around. Albert has asked me to hook up South Block to Porsche's power grid, but it turns out that the grid can't support South Block without shorting all the fuses. That means- that means we're going to have to find another way to generate electricity for the new town. The mayor suggested we add another power station over there, but that'll really stretch Porsche's power stone supplies. After some consideration, I think we should try wind power. The strong winds coming in from the sea should be able to sustain several generators in the Ufa Heights area. I know they use a lot of these in Highland, but it's not like we have the budget to import any. Do you think you can build a few for us? Uh, I can try. Alright, that's all I'm asking for. You'll need to talk to the research center about it, since I don't have a diagram for this. I absolutely love how everyone in this little town thinks that, even though they don't know how to make them, the research center might know how to do so. So, I've got a random idea. Let's just ask the builder to do it, but oh, the builder has to go to the research center because we actually do not know how to make them. Alright, here we are. Uh, let's move you to my inventory and let's move you out of my inventory into my hotbar. Awesome, let's place you. Retrieve. And... Uh, build you again. Which means we're going to make a little trip to the research center today as well. But... In the meantime, we finished up the two hot air balloons, which is really, really awesome. Let's place you in here. Let's quickly visit my chest for once and make sure we drop off all the stuff that we got from the tree farm. And then grab my horse. Uh, let's go into a little vase, I think. The other stuff can go into resources. There we go. And I need research for the data disks. Awesome, let's go balls. I hope you ate well and had a lovely night. Thank you for dropping Gilman Yaw. Jump. I think the fastest way is probably this way. Ah, a bit of cross cross country. Doesn't hurt anyone, I think. Alright. So here we are, which means uh, alright. I hot air balloon number one. And the last one. Awesome! We completed it! Which means horse. We're going back to town. Is there anything else I'm missing? No, right? What am I missing? Oh, it's a port. It's a DD stop. Okay! I for a moment was really, really worried. I missed out on something and I'm like, oh my goodness, what else do I need to make? But luckily for me, it was only DD stop, which is uh, quite optional in this game. Oh, please like jump. Okay, so here we are and there is someone walking here, which is near the gill. Uh, more... Where is gill? Is he here? What? Oh, he's on top of that. Oh, could you please wait here, horse? I mean, I'm completely fine if you want to walk the bridge with me, but still. Oh, he's over there. No problem. They're going over here. Hello. Goodbye. Oh. oh, this is wonderful. I knew you could do it. If only my dear wife was here to see this day. Speaking of romance. I must say that a balloon ride would be a glorious way to spend some time with that special someone. Something to think about, eh? I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. I do have some small tokens to show my appreciation, though. Ooh, thank you. That is really, really nice. So, horse, we're going to jump down. Luckily, you don't do fall damage, which is awesome. Let's quickly check our social tab. Oh, this isn't bad, I hope, I think, maybe. Uh, Alright, we need to make three of those turbines. And I really hope they uh, don't take up 
too much uh, resources because it would be an absolute shame getting a nice comfortable position with my resource management Command of generators this is a somewhat alien subject to me but i'll give it a go can you bring me five data disks to assist me in the effort thanks oh i already have them here okay i'm going into hermit mode now to get this researched go home and i'll let you know when it's done I have to admit, this is the most pet rats talk to me in, like, ever. Normally she's like, give me five data disc and I'm good to go, and I give you up the next, like, thanks! And I'm like, you're welcome. But now she's actually going in hermit mode, which I haven't heard her say. In, like, ages. Alright, let's, let's look, have, have a quick look at our map. We got a DD stop, we can make a DD stop. Uh, that was fish too, and ooh, a chicken run, which Donald wants to build. I mean, I could do a bit on my own workshop, but my own workshop is fine for now. I don't really need anything here. Should be right over here. Um. Oh, there you go. It's Emily, actually. I'll help Thanks you. for your help. These little things had enough fun time. It's time to let them rest. Sure, don't worry about it. Um... Pick up and put them in the box. I mean, this is quite easy. How many do I need to pick up? Oh, this all. Sorry to bother you again. You're such a nice person. In return, here are some eggs. I really, really appreciate your help. Ah, oh, no problem. Don't worry about it. Now let's ride my horse back home. This is all. I don't need any building or so. That's new. Jump, and let's uh, get off. And let's get eggs. And please return home. Let's make sure everything is in the making here. We could go to the ruins to farm some iron, which I mean we probably should do at this point. Though it isn't something I'm really looking forward to because I hate going into the ruins for like necessarily stuff. Like in this case iron. Uh, a couple of episodes ago we had to go because we did run out of copper. Sure, I mean, sort of, yes, please. Uh, you have to go into the research tab oh, quickly. Like, there you go. Do you want to take my horse? Yes, let's just take the horse. He's fine with it, I guess. I can race through Porcha, which I guess the Porcha residents do not necessarily like, but it isn't like I care that much. I mean, the Civil Corps is also riding through town, so why are they allowed and I'm not? So let's get off, interact, please stay. And let's get in here. Yes, I'll pay the 300 goals. Uh, otherwise, I don't have any ore, which is a absolute shame. But I would like to, like to know what happens if you don't have any ore and you don't have any money to pay for it. I mean, that would like be problematic, to say the least. I should have upgraded my... It's like the fifth time I'm concluding that I should probably upgrade my tools at some point, and rather sooner than later. And it's also like the fifth time that I'm coming to the conclusion, or the sixth time that I'm coming to the conclusion when I'm in a rune that I didn't do it. Which is really stupid of me. As an incredibly stupid. Now let's first get everything on the top here because otherwise I am going to fall down a pit and I cannot get out of it rather easily. Now let's. Uh, how big are you? Um, let's first go this way. Go, let's take you as well. Even though you're stone, but it will make my life a bit easier if I take you out as well. Go make a nice 
edge so I know where to go and where to stop. do we have 270 which is as far as I know not enough this will probably not last me a in a game week which is a little bit of a shame but then again I'll handle let's get up here make sure this corner is nice and flattened oh we're actually running underneath the manganese all right it's Interesting construction. Well, luckily this game doesn't have any proper physics, which allows rocks to float. Like this. Which I'm completely fine with, otherwise I don't know how many times I would be laying beneath a pile of stone because stuff collapsed on me. Uh, number three cooking recipe data chip. I already have that one, if I'm not mistaken. And I still do not know what to do with it. Uh, it's like this ends here. There we go. Please don't dig underneath me because I want to be on the highest point. Oh, as far as I can be. How much do I have? 571. Uh, uh, recording. Planet Explorers and a data disk. Well, at least we're getting stuff. Which is really nice. We're at the bottom of the thing here, I think. I really should learn how to do these things properly because I am just hacking and slashing somewhere. And in the meantime, I am digging a hole deeper and deeper. While I always talk about how to do this structurally and how to do it properly, so you don't have like places where you cannot stand. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's also probably the reason why I wouldn't be wasn't able to hit anything. Give away. A agricultural data chip. Uh, thanks? Still don't know how to use them. I mean, if I knew how to extract data that's on those chips, I would already have done so. I mean, cooking, who doesn't like to cook? Alright, what time is it? It's 6 o'clock and I've got almost, well, a little bit over 800. I wanted to say almost 900, but that would be like a big fat lie because I am at the time was at 816 and I really can't call that almost 900. My stamina points are actually doing really, really well. I mean, I am mining the whole time this day and I still have 140 points and I am level up, which is also really, really nice. So we're going to check that at home, but for now I want to go to the 1000. Because then I know I can continue working for a rather long time. Instead of having to go here uh, too often. And that for me, I get four all the swing, which means I can just pull this out nicely because we hit the 999. And we're probably making a new stack because stacks cannot go bigger than 999. So let's just eat away the last bit of this vein, this vein and then go on. Number two, cooking recipe data chip, which I already found in this exact same pit. Not four, please. Rather not do that. Alright, so let's move the last piece of iron here. Let me mine the whole vein today, which is in some way or form an achievement, in my opinion. But I don't think you get an achievement for that because one vein will run into another one, into another one, into another one. But you do not know where the first one starts and the second one. Uh, the, first, the second one starts and the first one stops. Alright, so how far is this still? Last little bits. Alright, and I see I've been here before. Number one cooking recipe data chip. Thanks again. I should be like a chef cook by now. And I'm here at the bottom of the ruins, which is really, really sad if you think about it. 
stuck so far that I'm at the bottom of the ruins. But for now, let's get out of here. Because I'd rather not spend any more time in here than I need to. Luckily for me, I've got my horse. I'll be home fast. It isn't really a problem. Yes, this was a really boring episode. <laughs> Which, on one hand, makes me want to wonder, should I edit these episodes, like, grab nice pieces and do, like, multiple days per episode and only take out a nice pass for you to see? Then again, who am I to decide what you guys like to see? If some of you find it really comforting that I'm constantly mining, then I shouldn't take that away. And on the other hand, I am... Um, I'm always, like, afraid that I will take out, like, the fun stuff as well. Which is a bit of a shame, let's sort all your space. I've got two more data chips that I don't have and I still have no clue what to do with them. So that is really butts. Really, really butts. Uh, here they go. Uh, that allows me to make sure you can craft a whole lot more common steel bars. I can make 31 in total. But I have a feeling there are a couple of uh, charcoal bars waiting for me. Fine. Let's get you craft 37. Now I'm making a whole lot of carbon steel bars. But that's fine. That is completely fine. At least I don't have to wait anymore on um, getting bars crafted. It's just waiting for all the production units to finish. Now refuel. Yes, please. Craft. Yes, please. And there we go. Everything is working nicely. So... How are you doing? Oh, you're done actually. Oh, sh should have have seen that. Uh, let's grab you. Wait, craft you because I have only one of you and 24 of the hard aluminum. And I am really afraid that those wind turbines do require the stainless aluminum. And of that I only had one. So for now guys, let's go to bed. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. If you got any tips or tricks for me, please leave it in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day and I see you guys next time.